Good morning to everyone. Today we are uh, trying to show you how to open our package if you order the queen cells for shipping and you receive it on your apiary. Um, we took uh, our uh, small yard uh, for just uh, show you how to deal with it. So first of all, package came. Make sure it's nice and square and not squished, no damage. So the well, everybody knows you should do it to every package with the bees, of course. Um, more careful. Um, then uh, after that, using uh, any blade knife, uh, you cut packing tape um, all around the perimeter of the box. Okay. Okay, now you open the box, take the top off. Okay, now what we see, there is a few bees here and there, which is okay. We want to make sure they're alive. So then we take the packing out. Take this out. This is servant bees. They, this is a... Um, most of them young because they were shaked off from the brood frames. So they can go and join the any queenless colony with no problem. What you see in a box, this is introducing like we are shipping five bars um, in a shipper. Take one bar on a at a time, pull it out, examine it. Take queen protector out, hold it a little bit, the cell will gonna be uh, staying in here. So you can place your bar on, a on the top of the height, this is not a big deal for a short period of time to expose to the sunlight. If you need to work and you know there is a long way to go, you cover your box from the sunlight. You keep it in a shade. You keep it under the bush, under the tree that is gonna be cooler uh, and temperature shouldn't go over uh, 85 degrees. If it's uh, over, over 85, you kind of better keep it in your truck and run AC that bees will not get there uh, stressed enough that they will overheat it. You pull it out uh, from the bar, you kind of, Hold it, protect that it's pop up voluntarily. You open your hive. Smoke a little bit bees down. Choose the area where the uh, brood frame. There is a two center frames, it's the brood frames. So you just push frames a little bit on a side away from each other and put your um, cell like that. This enough room for the queen cell right on the top. Many people trying to pull the brood frame out and poke the queen cell right in the middle of the brood area. There, this is okay too. It just takes much more time and if you have it, welcome. If we don't, so, and you need to um, introduce like a hundred queen cells or 300 queen cells in once, you simply don't have time. So it's easy to work with two people. One is open the cover, uh, smoke the bees and maybe even space the frames a little bit. And another already with, with the cells going and put them down so and so on and so on that's going to be more sufficient fast 
easy on bees, better for people. Okay, that's it about uh, how to introduce the queen cells. Sometimes we have a situation when we uh, plan uh, to spread the queen cells uh, in uh, our um, colonies and um, something come up, we have to stop or reschedule this work for a later on. Um, this is a very tricky moment. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Uh, we better uh, to introduce the all queen cells um, as soon as you receive them, as soon as possible, and let the colony uh, come down before the queen will emerge. But if something like that happens, you have to go with the flow. What, what you can do, please, I'm asking everybody, please do not leave the queen cells in a packing box. It's already uh, no food, no water, and the bees are very tired. They cannot take care about the rest of the cells. What to do in this case? In this case, you can make real quick temporary uh, queen or queen cell storage or bank, how we call it most of the time. Uh, I would recommend to have a double um, high hive uh, with queen, of course. A strong hive would be better. Um, and if there is a queen you know um, uh, for sure, you better go through and catch the queen out. If you put a queen in a same busy uh, plastic cage, um, it would be really convenient for you to operate. So here, yeah, I already moved the empty frames out and show you what we should have in a hive. In the center, you have to have minimum, minimum two frames of brood, one on this side of the gap and another uh, on this side of the gap. And here is like what, three frames of gap um, for your uh, conveniently uh, put your hand down and um, let's say you have cells left or queens, it's the same way. Uh, you have them left over, you need to store them. You catch the queen out from this hive you can put it right there on the same bar. It's always one available space for this queen. So, and then you take the bar, even if it's a short bar or long bar, it's gonna fit here perfectly. And you put it all the way to the bottom. You don't have to have any special equipment. You use whatever you receive from us. When you place them uh, all the way to the bottom, you just move the uh, frames closer. Not that it's gonna push your bar or queen cages or queen cells, but closer that get this gap as much as possible smaller, that B is gonna be easier uh, to um, protect the queens or queen cells in it and simply cover it up. Okay, that's it. Um, tomorrow, if you or if you hours or next day, you will come in here, open it, pull it out. If it's the queens, there is no problem to continue to work for probably a good week. So it's going to be no, uh, no trouble for you. It would be better to feed if it's no honey flow around. Uh, if um, if it's a honey floor, it's gonna go stay perfectly fine themselves. For queen cells, once again, it's sooner you introduce it, it would be better. Okay? That's about it, what we wanna say just one more time. Uh, do not shake the box when you receive it. Cut the tape, open it up. Do not keep it on the sun, that the sun kills them all. So keep it in a shade. It could be on the ground if it's the warm enough uh, or um, in a box uh, where you like it or even in your truck. 
but keep them on the right temperature away from the sunlight spread them as soon as possible uh, you have your schedule if you need to store them store them in a queen bank you can use any even small uh, queenless colony whatever you have just do not keep them in a shipper box it's not designed for keep them longer than overnight shipping that's why we choose overnight that you receive as soon as possible and use them as soon as possible this is not their nature a place to be the easy dying in here uh, and uh, then you will uh, disappoint it because that's the huge loss uh, for everyone okay thank you for watching any questions let us know we will more than happy to respond on it